Dallas and Brad Woodhouse are brothers, and one of them is a Democrat, the other is a Republican. They both work in the field of politics. And they have a new documentary coming out called Woodhouse Divided. It's about their relationship and how they disagree, but they're brothers. Well, they went on C-SPAN to talk about it, and they got a surprise caller. I'm administration and the Democrats, and we have seen how well it's worked out politically. I'm going to leave for about a half hour and let you two guys go. <laughs> Let's go this to Joy. Steve's show, Dallas. In, no, go to Joy in Raleigh, North Carolina. Good morning. Hey, Good somebody from down south. Well, you're right, I'm from down south. Oh, God, it's mom. And I'm your mother. And I, di I disagree that all families are like ours. I don't know many families that are <laughs> fighting at Thanksgiving. Is this, is this really I your mother? Was, no, you're not mom. I was very glad that this Thanksgiving was a year that you two were supposed to go to your in-laws. And, I was ho and I'm hoping you'll have some of this out of your system when you come here for Christmas. Yeah, we were really not together like, this Thanksgiving. We are most I years. I would really like a peaceful that? Christmas, and I love you both. <laughs> hey, now, now let me jump in because this was not planned. She called mm -hmm. in on the normal line. So, uh, but since you did call in, Mrs. Woodhouse, <laughs> what's it like to raise these two boys? Well, it hadn't been easy. <laughs> <laughs> no true oh, word. No true words have ever been said. Oh God. Well, we love and, you, Mom. Um, and I love and I love politics. I, uh, their dad and I both love politics. We follow the entire country. I know that we have to take responsibility for them. And they're both um, very passionate about what they believe in, and um, and I love that about them. But I um, I hope that um, they just kind of get this out of their system today on your program. That's By the way, I, I, I know what that happened. That is wishful things. Are you a Democrat or Republican, Mrs. Woodhouse? Well, I am, I am a registered Democrat. That's um, many, many years ago. But I have, you know, at times flipped my ticket. But, um, you know, I'm more concerned. I am concerned for the party who's going to, expand Medicaid. I have an autistic grandson who's going to expand health care. So um, um, those are, I guess I am more of a one-issue person right now in my life because I have uh, such concern for my autistic grandson. Okay, that may be my favorite woman in the entire United States of America. I love how everybody becomes a little kid when they're with in front of their mom or with their mom. Right when uh, she called up, I don't know if you saw it at the beginning. One of them goes, "Oh God, it's mom," <laughs> and it was a genuine. It was it wasn't planned. You could tell it was a genuine outburst of like, "Oh God, it's mom, mom, don't embarrass me, mom. I'm on C-SPAN, mom, talking about talking about important stuff. Please don't, please don't embarrass me." <laughs> And then she's like, look, I have to be honest, I prejudged her at the beginning, the first time I heard this, and I feel kind of bad about it, because by the end of the clip, I absolutely fell in love with her. But when she was talking, and I heard her accent, and he's like, what political party are you a member of? Oh, God, I was so expecting. I love Republicans. I love Republicans. I thought, when I first heard her voice at the beginning, I thought there was a 32% chance she would use the word Negro at some point in the conversation. But she didn't, and she says, look, I like the, whatever political party tries to expand health care. I'm a registered Democrat. So I felt like a dick afterwards. Like, why did I prejudge her? That was so wrong of me. Don't do that. And I do have to correct her on one thing when she says, well, I don't know many families that fight at Thanksgiving. Really? <laughs> All the families I know. Well, bar maybe one or two, but most of the families fight about politics. Look, my family is a fucking bloodbath. It's like me and one, maybe two other uh, liberals against a fucking room full of far-right conservatives where I'm face-palming. Jon Stewart said it best, because you know how he has this relationship with O'Reilly and they always debate each other and they're friends? Uh, Jon Stewart said... Bill O'Reilly looks like gay Ralph Nader to some people compared to some people in my family. Same situation I'm in, so there's plenty of fighting at Thanksgiving. But overall, I, it's an ad adorable clip, and 
I just love the reaction when people unexpectedly see their mom. They're like, oh, God, it's mom. Mom, don't embarrass me, mom. They're immediately back in high school.